Could yeah. we talk about yes. that? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and this is major. Um, and this is since we were last here together. Um, this is only in the last month or so that this happened. And, and I had to set this, the groundwork for this. And that is that in the last days of ancient Israel, you know, here's a nation that was founded by God and turned away from him. And it turned from God to particularly one particular God, which is the God in Hebrew called Baal. And we read it as Baal. Now, who was he or who was this God? Baal was the God of storms, of thunder, of fertility, of carnality. Um, sometimes he's depicted as a man with a conical hat. You may even have some images there. Um, sometimes he's casting lightning bolts, as he, as, and sometimes he's, he's actually depicted with a bullhead there. And as the Israelites settled into the land and they saw the Canaanites worshiping Baal, they saw Baal as the god of prosperity, that he's going to make them richer. He's going to make their lands fertile. And so, and unlike God, they could touch him. They could create him. They could, he was sensual. He was, mm. you know, you know, and he was linked to a god, a goddess called Ashtoreth. You read about this in the Bible, Ashtoreth or Asherah. And so a lot of his worship was linked to sexual immorality, okay? And so they would have, they'd have ritual sex. They'd have prostitutes. I mean, I mean this, is, this is called temple prostitutes. I mean, they saw what was, what was this was, was unholy things. They made it like it was a sacred. They celebrated immorality. Okay? Mm -hmm. They celebrated sexual immorality. They had these rituals. And so that's, he was linked to all that. He was linked to actually male prostitutes which, and homosexuality, homosexual prostitutes. This was, this was Baal. You gotta, people don't realize what was involved. It also, Baal worship involved the murder of children. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the worship where they lifted up their children on the, on the altar of Baal because they, they thought it would be, make them more prosperous. The, the God would receive this and would bless them back. So they actually offered their children, and this is why judgment came to Israel. Um, so here is this progression. It began seeping in. The, the, the worship of Baal first started, it was an underground thing. It was, it was in the shadows. It was in the closet. It was something that, well, they weren't supposed to do, but some people were doing it. But then they started Let's be, let's be a little bit more tolerant. Let's, let's let these things in. We'll get, we'll have more. We can't be so, we can't be so much with God. It can't just be this one way. There are other ways and maybe this will help us. So they started adding Baal to the worship of, of God. They started adding prosperity to the worship of God and saying, saying now, now we're going to join them together. We'll keep God, but we're going to add Baal. So that's what they did. And so they started corrupting their worship. They started corrupting their faith. And then as the worship of Baal grew stronger, it became more brazen. It became more intolerant. Now it said, there's no other gods but Baal. That's how it, that's how it happened. So first, it was tolerance, and then once Baal got in, it was now you cannot worship God anymore. Mm -hmm. And so especially at the time of King Ahab and Jezebel, the worship of Baal now reached the critical point where it started, it started taking over the culture. It started, it started taking over the kingdom. It started, now the priests of Baal, who before they would have been in the shadows, now they're lifted up into government. Now they're lifted up oh. to the throne of Jezebel. And now the people who are not following Baal, now they're hunted down. Here they, they would have been the heroes of the culture. Now they are the, they are the, the contraband, oh. Elijah, the prophets in hiding. So, so what happened here is that in the worship of Baal, we get a little taste of it when Elijah's on Mount Carmel and the, the priests of Baal start going into this frenzy. If you remember, it says they start cutting themselves. I mean, it's total, this is total pagan things. And, and so it continued, but now, now Baal had this showdown with Elijah, you know, uh, on, on Mount Carmel, and God showed himself. But the, the kingdom never stopped worshiping Baal. And so years later, it started, it started getting more and more again until the kingdom was destroyed. The first kingdom to be destroyed, northern kingdom. Now, well, how does this all come together? The northern kingdom is the kingdom of the harbingers. That's, that's where the harbingers come in. So when the harbingers, when we're reading about the harbingers, what we're reading about, we're reading about, we're reading about they are worshiping Baal when the harbingers are coming. So he's God, Baal is the God at the time of the harbingers. They're worshiping Baal when they get judged. Wow. Okay? So, so Baal, we're going to bring this up, Baal, so put it all together. He's the God of sexual immorality. He's the God of greed. He's the God of the, sac the offering up of your children. He's the God of persecuting God's people. He's the anti-God. He's the anti-Lord. He's this substitute. When huh. you turn away from God, that's where you go. So he, and, and actually, and from Baal, we get the word 
Beelzebub. That's where we get the word for Satan. Oh. It, from this, yeah. Baal Zavuv, Lord of the Flies, becomes Beelzebub. Or Baal Zavul becomes Beelzebub. So all that comes from Baal. So the enemy is behind it, but Baal is the one. So, so get, let's put this together. The days of the harbingers are the days of Baal. Mm. So could the sign of Baal manifest in America. Now, before we get to that, there, there are some images. I'm sure you'll put it in there, but if they can show them, if they have any images of Baal, put them up so you can see how, how this is, if they have it. If not, I'm sure you'll edit them in. But it actually shows them there. That's the worship. See, the Baal is there with a, the head of a bull. Yeah. He was often depicted that way, and they're, they're lifting up their children to Baal. That mm -hmm. is the, when the Israelites turned away from God. So now, could this sign... Now, here we have America. America... You know, could this, could, America was, was patterned after Israel. And so we know it. John Winthrop, when he, when he was sailing to, to America, that Puritan, at the very beginning on the ship called the Arbella, he wrote, the, he penned this sermon called City on the Hill, or actually, that's how we, we, we name it. That's where you get City on the Hill. That, Ronald Reagan got it from John Winthrop. John Winthrop said, we shall be, we are as a city on a hill, and all nations will look upon it. And if we follow our God, the God of Israel, then we will become the most blessed people on earth. We will become the most powerful military people on earth. Our enemies will run from us. We will become blessed in all, all that we do. We'll become just like Israel. The blessings of Israel will come upon us because the God of Israel will be with us. That's what he said. That's City on the Hill. But what people don't do, they miss what he said right after it. He gave a prophetic warning. And what he said was, but if we turn away, if we shall turn away from God and shall be seduced and worship other gods, he names them as our God of pleasures and profit is what he said. And we, 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 he says they are gods. If you worship, you, you serve pleasure, you serve profit, you are serving other gods. He said, if we do this, then the judgments that came on Israel will come upon us, which is basically, that's where the harbinger kicks wow. in. That's the same judgment. So this is what he said. So here's the thing. America, here we have, we're created as Israel. Now we've been turning away. When you turn away from God, you always turn to Baal in some way. So what have we seen in our culture? We have seen the worship of sexual immorality. Yes. We have not only that, remember in Baal worship, it was also, it was also the, se the, the celebration, the sac making sanctity of what is immoral. So it's, it's a culture in Baal worship literally celebrating, saying this is holy, this is great that we are immoral. And it included temple, included sexual immorality, included homosexuality. And it included also then you have the, 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 the a nation offering up its children. Spirit of Baal, we, have, we mentioned this before. Yeah. You know, Israel offered oh. up thousands of people, to Baal, thousands of children. We have offered up 60 million unborn children. Here's the spirit of Baal, spirit of the same spirit of Baal. And so all those things, and then you have the hunting, the persecuting of the righteous. Well, that spirit of Baal is happening now. Yes. We're beginning to see the culture calling believers, marginalizing them, saying you're hateful, you're intolerant, we will not tolerate you anymore, actually throwing some in jail. So here it's all happening. So could the sign of Baal, the harbinger of Baal, actually appear in this land? Now it would seem totally, you're kind of alluding to it, totally unlikely. I mean, who even, you know, except for believers, who even knows about Baal? I mean, he's an obscure Middle Eastern God, except you read him in the Bible because of who he was. It would be impossible, but the fact is it happened. And originally what happened was in this, and it happened, you know, in this, this last period where originally they were going to do it. They got so much uproar to this and that, that, that it seems they stopped talking about it and they just kind of canceled it. But then all of a sudden it, it, it reappears and it was almost like secretly. They didn't make a big deal. They just said, listen, be here at this time in the city. I happened to see it because somebody from our congregation happened to see it. And they, they sent it to me while I was upstairs here last time. And so, so I said, wow, this is very, you know, so, so they gave the date, they gave the time, and I witnessed it, and I filmed it. We'll show it in a few moments. Filmed what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened there that was not in the media. And first of all, what was it? What they did is they took in the, from the Middle Eastern city of Palmyra, Syria, there was the Arch of Baal, the arch that through which the worshipers of Baal would enter the temple of Baal and worship Baal. They had to pass through this arch, the arch of Baal. They were actually, that city of Palmyra is the center of 
two of the great temples of Baal. One, one was called Baal Shamim, Baal of heaven. Uh, the other was called the temple of Bel, but Bel is Baal. It's the same, the same thing. So here, so here they, they took a recreation of the arch. They recreated it on American soil on September 19th, 2016. It was unveiled. The ceremony took place in New York City. New York City, the city of the harbingers. You know, so now you have yes. this. Yes. Not only that, New York City, the city where abortion began, was first legalized. The city, the capital, the abortion capital of America, Bail. Bail. Wow. So oh. here they do it there. It was a rainy wow. Monday afternoon. There were some dignitaries there. There were some me there were media people filming it. The few witnesses, a few, a few Christians were there just to witness it. They found out about it. The arch was veiled up, covered in a sheet. Um, at the base of the arch was a sign that said Temple of Bell. To right at the bottom of the arch there. And they, and actually, if you have any images, you can put it up. If they don't, again, they'll be, okay. That is the, that is the veil, that is the veiled arch of Baal right there in New York City. It's on City Hall Park, right next to the, the center of the government of New York City. Um, they may even have a picture of the plate that said, that says Temple of Bell, which is Baal identified. But that was right at the below that we took the picture of. And so, so what happened was they started, they were playing, they were playing Middle Eastern music there. Middle yeah. Eastern music that you could imagine was played at the worship of Baal. Oh. I mean, it sounded like you were in the Middle East and it could have been a celebration of Baal. And so that, they, you had the musicians there. Then you had a man speak and the man said that this, temp, this arch... This, this arch belongs, of all places in the world, belongs in New York City. This is the place of, for this to go. That, the other one who spoke was the deputy mayor of New York. And I'll, I'll tell you what she said, you know, in a moment. But what happened is they, they took off the sheets. People were applauding, applauding.